Nick, you watch some of these young players. Oliver, obviously, with the game winner tonight. But T.J. Tynan even comes in yeah, and plays like really a little, well. yeah, really like a, you know, yeah. a, a, lots of energy and, and really played like he belonged with this team. Yeah, these guys have been unbelievable shots in the arm. You know, I see what Berkey's done. And uh, obviously, the year hadn't gone in the way he wanted. But he's come up and had another opportunity and, and made a statement and, and has really given us life. You know, he's scored some huge goals for us and, um, you know, been a big part of our success of late. So, and then you see a guy like Tynan, you know, you're, you're, I think it was just great for our, our the kind of game it was. Was tonight you have a guy that comes in and brings some emotion some energy because it's his first NHL game and uh, you know you're excited for him and, and he played outstanding I thought and uh, you know so it was just it was real good stuff for us and those guys everyone that's come up and played for us has done an outstanding job. At the beginning of the year you had a lot of guys like that playing their first NHL game and now it's gone a couple of months and uh, they're all grizzled veterans now. <laughs> they are, they're sure playing like grizzled yeah. veterans aren't they but when you get TJ uh, to come in here tonight like you said how big of a shot in the arm is that even before the game starts for the rest of you? Oh, it's awesome I mean everyone remembers is the first game so I think you just you're so thrilled for him his family was able to be here too and uh, you just remember that and I think it just kind of gave everyone a, a good good feeling going into the game I mean we are, obviously it was a choppy game and it was an ugly one and hard one to play but uh, I think you know because of him and obviously the young guys that have come up I think it's allowed us to have that energy when we need it the most and uh, you know big credit to those guys you know we've talked in the last couple of weeks about some games that you've been emotionally engaged in and others you haven't you guys have been great since the break of being in these games but New Jersey kind of out of the playoffs now you're going to take on a team that you haven't seen all year long, yeah. the Buffalo Sabres. You're going I've to see them. them. Nobody else has no, seen them. You've seen them a lot, and that's what I'm getting to. You're going to play them back-to-back. -back. Uh, for you, the juice is playing against your brother, isn't it? Yeah, it's fun. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. It's kind of crazy that we're we're five hours away from each other. We finally play each other with 60 or 20 games left or 15 games left, whatever it is. So, um It'll be great. I mean, I think it's good for, for everyone. I think it's exciting for everyone because really it's another game where you just go out and play. You haven't seen them, so you don't know. You just got to go out and play your best game. So it's a great opportunity for us just to have another motivating factor. And I like that about our team right now. We're, we're finding motivation and just trying to become a better team. And it was where before we kind of played off the emotion of the game. Now it's just about us trying to become the best team we possibly can be. And, uh, you know, you saw that here tonight. Yeah, and it's like a laser-like focus since the break, isn't it? Yeah, it has to be. I mean, I'm proud of the guys. They really took the break uh, to heart and realized that when we came back we needed to make a statement to ourselves and uh, that we were going to continue to push and be an elite team and, and that was the, the gap you know you, you find a, a way to push through that and now you're giving yourself a real honest chance of making the playoffs and uh, and doing some damage so we're excited about where we're headed and a lot of hockey left but uh, excited about get going here.